Let's talk about implications. Let's talk about the market today. Yeah. You've been in the market admittedly for a long time. I think you mentioned seven years. We're back at $7,000 on Bitcoin. Is, yes. Should we be worried? Should we be scared? I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The reason is this. I've seen Bitcoin long enough to know that ups and downs are normal. I'm not too worried because I know two things. One is it could get lower. The other is one day when it does get higher, it's going to go way higher than $20,000. And I've seen this cycle multiple times to have built in a model for myself. I think it's going to, it's going to be like And that brings me to my next question. We asked your brother when he was here last week, we asked him, what tokens does he personally invest in? What coins, currencies does he personally invest in? Yeah. So, so let me guess, let me guess. We're talking about Bitcoin? Yes, Bitcoin. You'd be bad if you didn't follow your brother, so Litecoin. There's Litecoin. So you hold more Litecoin than your brother, actually. Well, I hold some, I don't know. I think, I think he doesn't hold any more, any anymore, but uh, yes. What are the other two? The other two are um, uh, Ethereum, which probably shouldn't surprise anyone. I, I actually do hold Ethereum now, I bought some. Uh, and the fourth one is actually Bitcoin Cash. So I've had Bitcoin Cash from, from day one. From the fork? Yes. So there you go, his recommendations. Um, I'm not going to disagree. I do really feel like you can't really go wrong with holding uh, coins in the top 10. I feel like uh, any portfolio, if you want to be safe or on the safer side, I, I highly recommend 50% of your holdings be Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, obviously, you can pick whatever percentage depending on which you prefer. Um, but I um, recently, at least, uh, have now pretty much balanced it. I think I'm about 25% Bitcoin, 25% Ethereum. And I would say actually about 60% of my portfolio is Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then, you know, the, the remaining 40, I kind of just split it with the top 10. And then I do have like 3 5% of just random small coins that probably will go to zero or maybe make me millions of dollars i don't know but really interesting interview and um, let me know your thoughts on his uh, predictions or his preferences on coins i uh, am also uh, a big fan of diversification so obviously i wouldn't if you're gonna be investing more than a couple thousand i, I would definitely own more than just a couple of currencies i would highly recommend that you at least own five, if not 10. Um, but let, let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you guys soon.